Well, good morning. So this is an update on one bed that I made a video on last year. And the video was about using bananas as a biomass producer. So this bed I covered last year, it had bananas all down, up and down the bed between some trees. And I removed those bananas last year and used all that biomass to basically do what you see here, to mulch the bed and feed it. Most all that banana disappeared in the course of a year, completely disappeared. Now I, I have this year, I'm, I have these bananas that are spaced out on this side and on that, that side between the rows of fruit trees. And they're just about finishing their usefulness. They've gotten tight. They haven't been pruned enough as far as thinning. And I've gotten some good banana bunches off of them. But it's time for them to leave and replace with the legume trees down the center. Most of these are ice cream bean. And they need to, uh, to have their space, their time to shine. And they'll go on far into the future, I expect. So what I did, I removed the tops of all the bananas. Then I started working on the trunks. What I do on the trunks is I split them the way you saw at the very first of the video. I split them in half. Then I'll lay them down like that on top of the bed. On this bed, I'll lay them down. And that will pretty much carpet the bed. Now there's already a pretty good amount of biomass on here already just from the tops. But these, uh, these trunks, the pseudo stem, that's going to be a, a big addition. It'll last right through the year, I think. So just to recount what I've got here, that's an acerola. This is a lime, have a red custard apple, just put in last year. That's a Meyer lemon. This one is a sour star gooseberry. That's only one year. It, it grew very fast. I had to top it already. Got it, got it pruned. Down here is a, a young Lux Garcinia. Looks kind of ragged. We're going to see how it works out this year. That one is a sour orange, I believe. That one is a stinking toe. It's a, a legume that produces a, a powdery pod, high in sugar and some proteins. Very nice fruit. I like. I kind of like it. It's it's different, but I like it. That's a Tahiti lime. That one is a, an elephant apple. It's a, from India, also known as Chalta. The apple itself is kind of sour, but it's it's an unusual thing, and I I uh, I wanted to try growing it. That is a Cas guava, one year old from a one gallon pot seedling. It's a, a guava that's sour, but also but used very nice, makes a very nice juice. And I forgot to mention, there's a one volunteer avocado down, down that way. Another volunteer avocado planted by the uh, squirrel. <laughs> and he, he put it right in the right spot for me. Then we have a dwarf amborella right there. A pomsite, dwarf pomsite. So I've pruned, pruned down this side. And the next step is to, I use a pruning saw. I, I prune out very, very low right down to the, to the ground. So what will happen, some of these, that will kill the corn because the growing point is up. That one's probably, the growing point is probably up a little bit right there. It'll probably kill it, but it'll come back with plenty of suckers. I may be able to get, harvest some 
top growth off of these later but I really want to let the uh, the legume trees have their place get their it's their time to shine I want them to to be the next stage this area probably needs some uh, some mid mid strata so in the bit in the uh, bed I'll probably put in some pigeon peas and jack beans in this bed just here and there I left a few little flowers I got some nice fincas there they look pretty and I've had another volunteer citrus I'm not even sure what it is but we'll see it'll 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 let me know what it is also these two trees this is actually china berry they just volunteered I've got another little one little one over there they uh they're kind of unique I if you look in the in the back in the back over there, there's a very tall one that, I, that hasn't been pruned. They uh they can be invasive if they seed, but these are from seedlings. They they just grew, volunteered, probably came in the mulch or a bird dropped seed. I'm gonna give them a try. They do they do have a potential producing some chop and drop. They're not a legume. I think the Latin name is Melia, something, Melia Azuretic, something like that. But I, I pruned them a little little bit, left a little bit. We'll see how they work out. It's just one of those things you experiment with what nature gives you. So that's all for, for this uh, project, one year update. You can look at the picture from the video from last year. I'll put a link at the bottom. All right, well, thanks. Bye for now.